What's up, my guys? We are back. This is the Juice Box with episode 101. New era, new theme song. I'm wondering, do I do I keep naming each number of the episodes, or do I do something new? Am I just gonna say with episode 1,654, or like what's the plan? I I feel like one. I feel like it'll slowly get to a point where you just won't even say the episode number. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's I'm, a big accomplishment if you get there. Yeah, because like. You know, like a hundred and one, like just gonna keep naming out numbers, or I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. because what we could end up doing, especially since we're now on YouTube. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. What we could do on YouTube is once we just stop with the actual episode numbers, we'll get good like title title names for all the videos because that's how you hop in that old algorithm. Oh, really? Yeah. That, is that really the thing? I mean, it's if if you look at podcasts, I just was studying like how they name their episodes. A lot of them don't put the episode number till the very last thing. Like they put like key phrases of certain things that they talked about. So when people are searching things in the search bar, it pops up. I have to get creative. Exactly. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like no one's typing in the search bar episode sixty five. Exactly. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Very it makes sense. I mean, it really makes sense now that you put it all out there. Thank you. I appreciate that. So how's your guys' weeks going? Honestly, the week was good. Um, it, it started off slow, finished pretty quick. Very, very happy that it's Friday. Yeah. It's fall outside, yeah. basically, yes. at least for now. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of good things uh, to look forward to. That's why I have an announcement on the podcast today. Um, I've reconsidered Sober October, and it will not be happening. <laughs> yes, dude, this is great. I, I considered it for like three minutes, seriously. And then, like, there's so much stuff going on in October. Dude, I, an insane amount of so, stuff. It, it starts over with Oktoberfest, is how it starts. Yeah, so you're like, yeah, no. Exactly. First day, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Do so, we have Oktoberfest, then Rogan, and then there'll be football yeah. weekends. Emily's coming up to visit the weekend before Halloween. So here's the thing like, me and Jake are normally on the same page. About just hanging out, okay. Bubba, I mean, Bubba, you get it too now. Like, just being in Greg's bar, I get shit for, like, not doing a lot, which is yeah. fine. But this October, I have, like, the most things planned that I've had in I don't know how long. Like I, I've never used my, like, Apple calendar or whatever, because yeah. who does, uh, for, like, people's birthdays. But, like, September, I had something for, like, every weekend, mm -hmm. which, like, never happened. It's never yeah. happened ever. So I agree. Like, it's just one, one week after another, which is awesome. Dude, yeah, like, I literally have, yeah, next week you said Oktoberfest, there's a WVU game. Freaking the next weekend, Joe Rogan, the next weekend, fucking something will happen. Then we have the, the football game we're going down for to see Michael at. I mean, it's going to be a busy month. I'm here for it, though. October, best month of the year, in my opinion, so I'm not oh, complaining. Yeah. I yeah. love me some fall I don't, weather. I, don't hate that. I love the fall weather. Yeah, me too. No, I'm I'm a big, big, big fan of the fall weather. And I mean, it really was just a matter of how many things are actually happening. And I, I told myself, like, whatever, I'll just do like the whole sober October dur during <laughs> dry January. Like instead of just not drinking in January, I'll do the whole thing. Like I was, because January is easy. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, fuck. new year, you got to go outside, turn your car on, turn the heater on, scrape everything. Everyone's miserable as fuck. Nobody wants to do anything. So dry January it is. Yeah, I agree. New Year sucks anyway, I feel like. It always sucks. Yeah. I mean, January through March is like a weird time period. There's not a whole lot going on. But, like, I kind of like it, though. It's cold. It's snowy. You know, you can light some candles. I love some candles. I like the winter time, but there really is never anything going on during those few months. You know what I mean? And for some reason, it's my favorite time of the year. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. Like, I, 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 I think I really like snow, though. We haven't really been yeah. having that much snow. So, like, it's kind of just normal. But when it when there's constant snow and stuff outside, I fucking love it. Yeah. 
I, I mean, I've probably been a broken record telling people the one was it yesterday? There was one day it was like in the fifties, and I was you know, I was so happy yeah. yesterday. And everyone's like, "Fuck you!" What, well, dude? Yesterday, <laughs> like, it literally is prime time weather for me. Cloudy and like fifty, like you said. So, so it hits the cloudy like fall weather. It just it, it weirdly hits. I don't know. Sad boy season. We were talking about it the way over here. Sad boy season is a great time of year. Can you believe fights is sad boy one sold out in <laughs> seven minutes? We were talking about that. No, w- it's a wait list. And he said today, like, if you're not on the wait list, you're not getting them. Yeah, he's like, the wait list <laughs> already is longer than how many more we're making. So you're probably going to have to wait I'm again. Just, I wish I could know how many that, like, how many they made. Like, I wish, I, well, you wonder, like, did he make 50 <laughs> pairs? Did he make 10,000 pairs? Like... Well, I mean, he he did say in the KFC radio episode, if I understood it right, that he was, I think, getting emails, I think, dirt while it was all going down. And he just said they kept coming and he was just so shocked. The the funniest thing about that whole story is how he was saying how he had family members texting him like, oh, give me a pair. He's like, I got you. And then he just went and bought like four <laughs> pair because <laughs> he can't even get his own shoes. He, he was like, I'm too embarrassed to tell my three younger siblings that I can't get him a pair for free. So I just had to buy, buy yeah, them. Isn't that crazy how that is, though? Like how he can't even get his own shoes. He got one pair just for him. And that's it. And Bubba said he didn't he didn't make money off of them that, that's what he claimed apparently. That's, that's what he claimed yeah which is ridiculous dude but he he's just in it for the love of the yeah, game I, that's purely he what it is appreciate it but yeah you you can move this too if you want to by the way i just had it sitting there feel yeah. free to fucking just get yank comfy this bitch comfy, get get comfy. Make no, out but, but he does <laughs> seem he does seem like that guy though who's just in it because he's just having a good time and you got to think about it too like he's a og like he was like yeah. one of the first five or six people there he 100 percent. if he's not a millionaire yet dude they all just play the humble game though that that's why that's why they're relatable and everybody loves them yeah. because i truly feel like like fights doesn't give a fuck about that shit. Like, yeah, he just talks how he's down like all the time. Like him and KFC, they just you can never tell. Bro, that's it's what so I was cool. about to rip KFC for a second because like he always talks. Not always. He always says he's poor and doesn't have money on KFC radio. Like I just want to call him out for that. Like there's zero percent yeah. chance you have no money. There's zero well, percent I mean, chance. Yeah, that you he, have no money. He he probably has money comparatively to us but he probably does have to pay a lot in child support too <laughs> from the whole divorce sure. and i bet it's weird being in that like arena where like there, there's just so many people like you have people like the producers and the filmers that like do not make very much money and then you have dave and you know yeah. erica and those people at the way top so i'm sure it's weird you don't know really where you are dude and comparatively. i and i mean i was watching pick em, which is dave big cat and rico and fuck Rico. <laughs> go I, I think they slipped at how much Rico makes. If I understood it right, because he's only like, quote unquote, part time and not really full time that he only makes like thirty thousand dollars, I think is what they said. Doubt that's right. But they probably don't get paid as much as we think. But I mean, again, who, that's one of those things that are where you just do it because you love it. Yeah. Right. As long as you can survive. <laughs> And that's how I feel about this. If if I could survive making money off this to the penny, yeah. I would just do this. No, I yeah. agree. It's awesome. And I'm sure those figures are kind of hard to tell because whenever the suit man like shit was all going down, you kind of got into a look into it. And I mean, it, it just depends who they are. Because the caller daddy girls, I mean, they were making so much fucking money Dude, off she- of merch. Bro, Alex is like freaking loaded well, now. now. Yeah, it's, it's she's sad. like close to Ro- she's like the girl version of Rogan. I mean, in terms of numbers wise, yeah, she made like, like sixty wild. mil three years. So I think here's it a was. question: Do you think like like other media companies try to like recruit people from Barstool? Empire State oh, Building does too. Like, yeah. do you think anyone's tried to get stole steal like Big Cat? Well, that's what like a well, sports. That was the whole thing with the Caller Daddy Girls, right? Was the a- HBO exec was trying to take them to different companies and shop them around. Yeah. So I'm sure, like the other people too. Yeah. I, I mean, especially, you know, it, they all they always blame Logan Paul for like putting that bug in her ear that she should be making more money. And when yeah. Dave went on impulsive, he like ca- called Logan out about it in a funny way. He's like, 
you're the reason why all this stuff started. Really? Because, I didn't know that. Well, I because didn't know that either. I feel like you. I feel like YouTubers make so much more money than I actually think that they make. Well, it's yeah, it's different when you're not on a brand. Yeah, you know, like when your brand is yourself. There's really no. There's no limit. It's so hard for me to understand because I see these TikTokers and YouTubers like, like the Nelk Boys, for instance. You know who the Nelk Boys are. I just know who Steve is because he's friends with Sugar. I think they're YouTube and TikTok, but like I just am so curious as to how much money they actually make, or do they just blow it all? Because you see, they're like high rolling, like buying like everything, and it's like. Do they have that much? Like, did, have they made that much, or are they just young and dumb and just spend it all? I just wonder. I feel you know, like I, I really just. Both. I yeah. feel like, truthfully, it's both, but I also think it leans more to they have that much money, or they know more is coming in. Like because, like, yeah. they're they uh kind of just exactly what you said. They are their own brand, so anything from the beginning, like they get, m- they don't have to give a percentage to yeah. this, this, or this. They get every single cent and then you probably reinvest it into your company and things like that but dude i I feel like the nelk boys like that mr beast guy which i've never I watched like him. Uh, is he good i've never watched him i mean his videos are different because they're just about like spending money basically like he just spends money like ridiculous amounts and that's like his shtick but it's really cool how he started he started some kid that posted video game videos on youtube you know and it just grew from there and for years and years he wasn't making any money because every cent he made it would be like i'm giving away ten thousand dollars this episode and that was well the ad revenue was generating ten thousand dollars so he grew and grew and grew to now he's getting obviously a lot of money yeah but so that's kind of like a commendable thing absolutely no i i mean he was saying he was on impulsive saying now he gets his videos like dubbed over and in, in Spanish and now he's getting an entire like Spanish crowd and I, I don't know I, I just I, I feel like too once once you get the the hardest part in this kind of game is to get that one viral momentum yeah. moment that's the hard part but I feel like once you do you just gotta like jump on it and take advantage real fast yeah. this might be a stupid question but do you think there will ever be a point where like media corporations will try to get into that. So I, I don't know what it would be, but say like X company has their TikTok stars. You know what I mean? So it's not so independently run. Oh yeah. Like like I get what you're saying. Like literally have like a media business who hires like their TikTok people. Yeah. And like their YouTube people. To try to get a piece of pie. People. So they're not making like the individuals aren't making every cent. Yeah. Which would kind of suck. Oh yeah. I mean I'm sure that will happen. Yeah. I'm sure I mean it pretty much always does. Yeah. With whatever industry you're like, product. hey, come work for us and we'll we'll blow you up on TikTok and then yeah. they take like a portion of yeah. it. And it's great when you're like the little guy, but when you're you know yeah. there are success stories you see where it wouldn't be yeah. as good. And dude, a lot of people hate on TikTok. Do you have TikTok? I do. And I'm kind of an example of I fucking hated it at first. Dude. And now I'm addicted I to lo- it. I love TikTok. No, I, I like, like it. And for, especially for things like this and like any, anything you want to just show to the world, that's like the easiest way no. to get your stuff out there. It's definitely the easiest. Like just all of a sudden your video can get into whatever cycle and it ha- it'll it have hundreds of thousands of views overnight and it's like nothing i feel like nothing else is like that no, you know what like i mean not like even youtube yeah you had on youtube you had to like grow like grind yeah. you know what i mean yeah. like i can't remember who i was listening to from youtube i literally don't know who it was but he was saying it took him like four and a half years to even make his first penny on youtube and these tiktok people literally blow up overnight and they're like tiktok is so smart like mentally how they just like get people locked in that's why i didn't want to do it for so long like just not having a start or finish and like not having to search like you don't you don't have to search mm-hmm. for anything like youtube like after a while you get bored with youtube because it's like you run out of things to look for but you don't have to do that it's yeah g- it's genius yeah and you have your vine advocates which vine was sweet big czar is a vine advocate TikTok is literally a million times better than Vine. I don't know 
I will I fight feel, that I feel to like the I grave. I can't remember. I mean, obviously I remember it, but I can't remember why it would not be as good. Like Vine, your video couldn't be longer than seven seconds. Remember, they were yeah. they, they were just, just short. Cuts. Yeah, I remember some funny ones. Oh no, Even Vine like, was great. There yeah. are some really funny vines, but like I'm just meaning like from comparing the two, like TikTok yeah, is sure. a million times better. Oh, I mean, definitely, definitely. But we got to give credit where credit's due. If it wasn't for Vine, right. TikTok probably wouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's where Danny blew up, right? Vine. Yeah. yeah. And I think the Paul brothers well, that's did too. Where, yeah. yeah. A lot of people blew up on Vine too. Yeah, that that was uh that was like an overnight thing. All of a sudden they were just like, Where Vine's gone. But yeah, I was gonna ask, what happened with that? Does anybody know? I literally can't remember why. Like yeah. I wonder if it was a legal thing or like the creator was just like we're done. Why Vine died. Here we go. I mean, there was, like, a legitimate reason. Mm. I just can't remember why. That's uh, too many words. <laughs> so Twitter Twitter bought Vine in 2012 for $30 million, And then it must have just, like... They probably did down. something stupid. They were like, we're going to do our own Vine and call it something else, and it just didn't work. Yeah. yeah. Or did, or that that might have been when Periscope became a thing that's too. Pr- that's probably what it was. Yeah. Nothing failed worse than Twitter's uh, fleets. <laughs> yeah. Nothing failed more terribly. Dude, I was so against the fleets, bro. And <laughs> yeah, people were using them in the beginning. Like, I get it because if it's there as a tool, you might as well use it. But I would always just be like, guys. Once everybody stops using it, yeah, it'll be gone. Exactly. I was like irritated. Like you see friends do it. It's like, fuck you and fuck the fleets. So. Quit encouraging this fleet behavior. Dude, literally. Like, and they freaking just failed. Failed miserably. Like, you don't you can make them still, can't you? I they they announced they were taking them down. Oh, see, like see. I don't even remember. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, they're not on there anymore. Oh. But whatever. Yeah, no. I'm just fucking Happy as shit that fleets are gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. Yeah, fleets did nothing to hurt me, but I just I, I was not a fan. Oh. I tried to do like a fleet a day, but it wasn't. Fu- I would just take like a self, like a half selfie on my face. But oh yeah, oh, you, yeah those were funny. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't really. You funny. were doing that. <laughs> they for didn't a while. really. They didn't really stick. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna see? Do? I retract my statement. The one fleets I like were JT's because <laughs> they made me giggle. That I just spilled my face. drink. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, dude. But I mean, we can kind of touch on it for a sec. Big Mountaineer dub against yes. VT. Big game. On I was Saturday. so shocked, and I will say this on record on the air. Bring on the hate. I don't care. I totally bet Virginia Tech money I, line. I, I lost $20, too. <laughs> yeah. I totally... T- I put the house on Virginia Tech money line. I was like, this is the easiest money I'm ever going to make. Me, too. We were talking shit before. Yeah, I was like... I was like, WV's favored, like, hammer Virginia Tech money line. But If I'm ever confident in the bet, bet the other the other option. Yeah. it's going to lose. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, no, dude, it, I feel the same sometimes. It's like, what the fuck? It was a strange thing, too, because, like, they're the ranked team coming into Morgantown, and they're getting points. Uh, wow. Spread-wise, that was the correct bet. Yeah, it, it's, like, the smart bet to make. The smart bet would be to bet on Virginia Tech, but I don't know. I, I feel like this Oklahoma game, it's going to be, I was telling Bubba before we started, it's going to be one of two things. This is either going to be Oklahoma's, like, coming out party because they've been playing so bad against bad teams and they'll just blow us out <laughs> or it'll be close. Like there's, I don't see, I don't see there us being up by mo- really at all throughout the game. If we somehow win, it'll come down to the end. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I think to be on that, but that's exactly how I feel about WV. Like you just don't ever really know what, what they're going to do. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no, yeah. I just don't know. I will just see how it goes tomorrow. But of course, after the big win last week, I had I had to hammer WV this week. I hammered them. <laughs> Did you? I I put I put I think twenty on West Virginia money line, and then I had a twenty dollar parlay with them covering. So, a lot of points. Mm-hmm. A lot of points. A lot of points. So what do you what what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, I. 
I feel like I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's either going to be close yeah, or we're going to get blown out. I feel like I've just been excited and burned way too many times, so I'm at the same. We will see. Yeah, We'll see I, how I, it goes. I, I don't know. But the, I guess we never really got back around to it. Did you guys do anything fun this <laughs> week? <laughs> That's why I, I can't even remember what I did this week. I feel like it was very short, which is always good. That is week. good. It's Friday again, and I'm very happy. It's cold. As long as long as it as long as it can somehow stay this way. Like I, I I'll get upset if we have two weeks of this. Yeah. And then we jump back to oh, like yeah. this eighty exactly. degree bullshit. No, but that's exactly what's gonna happen. Always. It's gonna be like the end of October, early November, and it's gonna be eighty five outside. Yes. I feel like whatever the change is, I'm always pumped. Whether it's getting colder Dude, or if it's getting warmer. Isn't it, that the freaking truth though? You're so right about that though. You are. I could never live in like Florida, yeah, or in like Alaska. Either way, because it's like I'm always pumped for fall and winter. But you're right; like as soon as it starts to warm up again, I'm like, oh yeah, like bring on <laughs> spring and the summer. Like I can't wait. Well, dude, it it is one of those things where it's nice to have a refresh. Absolutely, out of you like, need it. You need it. I I couldn't imagine really living somewhere where it's like hot and sunny all the time, or like you said, like Siberia freezing snow yeah but i mean it it is kind of nice if you have a shitty shitty fucking fall or spring or summer then you, you can be like okay this is right around the corner yeah new yeah season new me new season new me batch yeah i mean i can only speak for myself but my freaking allergies just beat the shit out of me this week i mean absolutely annihilated me it's from sunday until now you can still hear it in my voice like, it's just craziness. Yeah, I, I get smashed by allergies, too. I usually do, and I haven't yet, so we will see. But when I was getting tested when I had COVID in uh, October of last year. Congrats for being a survivor. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I've had allergies and sinus problems real bad my whole life. Um, so I didn't think anything of it. And then my roommate tested positive, so I left work in a hurry and went and got tested. And she was asking, like, do you have any symptoms? And I said, no, like, I always have allergies, so, like, runny nose, you know, and, and just sneezing, just stuff like that. And she went, check symptoms. I, I, I had no idea at that point. Yeah. I don't know if anybody did. Like, what exactly were symptoms yeah. of COVID? I don't I think anybody that does. So, that was so funny. She was like, okay, and walked right away. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, that's kind of how I am, too, because I, I felt like – I can't remember – I felt like I had it at one point. One of the times that you did, maybe the second time it was bad for you. And that's what that's I tested negative, but what happened is my sinuses just cranked it up to yeah. ten for like two days. And then I started feeling better. It it's weird how it just does different things to everybody. Yeah. Well, yeah. for being honest, since I got my second COVID shot, which was like ten days ago, yeah. I fucking still feel like shit. Really? really? So, like, l literally the next day after my second COVID shot, I mean, crushed me. Like, my, I had a fever. My whole body oh, hurt. See, I, I didn't know you got fevers. That's, that's kind of crazy. Oh, it dude. My, that much. my whole body hurt. Like, I couldn't move. Then I was okay the next couple of days. And then Sunday, my, I woke up with my allergies, which is probably just a coincidence at, yeah. at this point, just because of the weather. My allergies have just been freaking going off. Yeah. It sucks. That's like what it was like to have COVID for like a week straight. It was awful. Yeah. Dude, when I Dude. got, yeah, when I had COVID, it was terrible. It is, it, it affects everyone differently. I, it was terrible for me too. Like when I had yeah, it actually. Bad. Yeah. So what, so like you got, cause I, I don't, you guys just felt unexplainable basically. <laughs> like, I don't like body aches. I, kind, what, kind of like mine was different in the way that like everyone talks about the respiratory and like the tiredness and like i coughed a little bit like one like a day and a half so yeah. that wasn't and i was never really that tired my body just hurts it like my legs yeah like, unexplained like hurt so bad yeah yeah that was the biggest that was part. my main thing the my whole body hurt too, you just like, feel like not great which is you can't you know isn't great of yeah me explaining no it. but you just you, don't feel good no, exactly it's painful no. but have you ever just like not felt good and then someone's like well what's wrong like what are your symptoms i'm like i just, I like just don't feel good <laughs> that's always my favorite one dude i don't know i just feel like shit. i don't know how to answer your question like i don't know what my symptoms are i just don't feel good right now 
No. I yeah, I I guess too. Like if you guys got it, you guys have the best antibodies known to man. Well, at this listen. Point. I better never forget. I better never get it again. <laughs> 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 you, you said that with your hand up. Because son. someone's someone's getting a call if I get it again. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? I don't know, Joe Biden or somebody. <laughs> because I'm tired of this bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting a beer. I get a beer, bro. <laughs> Just kick back. I, so I allegedly had COVID twice, Jake. If you remember, wow. you were two timer. I was a two timer. Okay. My taste and smell never came back. Oh, that's an, yeah, that was a big thing too for me. Oh, was it taste? And my and smell? shit is still not normal. Okay, and I was like, you know what? I don't need the freaking shot. Okay, I'm a freaking superhuman now. I got all these antibodies in here. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna need a COVID vaccine card to go anywhere. So I'm like, whatever, I'll do it. If we turn into zombies in 20 years, we turn into <laughs> zombies. <laughs> whatever, we're turning into zombies together. But then this shot fucks me up. <laughs> so when I get better from this shot, if I dare ever... JT's get hit by all eggs. If I <laughs> dare ever sneeze once in my life ever again, I'm suing somebody. Dude, but I just want to get back to the point where sneezing's not a felony, Well, bro. dude, <laughs> I apologize every time I it's sneeze like, oh, now right. in public. Oh, yeah, this look, guy. Dude, I'm inside, and if I feel a cough coming, I start having a panic so attack because I'm like, everybody's going to think I'm like a, a zombie yeah, bomb I just know. ready to get everybody sick. I apologize so many times this week when I sneeze. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just my allergies. It's just my allergies. Yeah. Fuckers. Yeah, I Sorry, mean, I got all fired up about it. It's no, just annoying. I get it. I and I feel like hopefully these last couple months are where. I mean, come on, I dude. But remember, I did call it very early on when we did predictions. I said I don't think things would be normal till like 2022, 2023. Well, it really seemed like we were on the right. Oh, track. we were. <laughs> they, it did, didn't it? And then everyone was like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> No, I, I I don't like. I understand. What what do that, hold on? What do we really think? Well, happened? you know what happened. The <laughs> what happened? What happened? JT? The government saw that we were just yeah, out we're having, having too much. We were fun. just out having a great time again, and they said, "Wait, no, 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 we're shutting this shit down again." You know who? You know who? The it, it's just like Mrs. Shively. Okay. I've never seen a transition from COVID to Mrs. Shively, but I'm it's here for it. It's the same kind of deal. It's it. the same kind of deal. Like, the government is like Mrs. Shively right now. Okay. We started to have a good time, and then it just had to get shut back down again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, you know, these Coke with coffee's got me all jacked up. I like it. Truthfully. We got the COVID talk, and I just got a little fired up. Because, Sorry. like... Comedically, remember, I'm here to have a good time and yeah, laugh. Yeah, this giggle. is a parody account. It's so funny how, like, they're like, you know, like hospitals are filling up. People are well, getting that really part sick is scary. Again. No, hold on. This is this is my joke here. Hospital <laughs> hospitals are filling up. People are getting nervous and everything. And then you turn on games Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> stadiums are just packed. Everybody's like, yeah. yeah, cheering their fucking heads off. It's like what. What do you want people to do? You told people that if you got the vaccine or wear a mask, things would open up. And now you're trying to shut it back down. It's not going to work. Yeah. Especially if money's evolved. Like, oh, yeah. But, can, but at the, can you imagine, like, being a relative in Ruby and not being able to see your, like, family yeah, because that's of restrictions? Ter- that's terrible. Looking out the window. Dude. <laughs> and my drunk ass is, like, you know, <laughs> being an idiot. Yeah, yeah, I was lot. legit talking to angie about this same thing because she works at the hospital and then because we were talking about going to the game or whatever and she's saying like how bad the hospital is now. ruby has never been worse how, it's, it's like terrible it's too full and stuff there's a wait list yeah jesus and there's then, like, a you, wait list then you say, for the hospital beds then you say you look right out the window and everyone's freaking yeah. drunk as hell in the blue lot but can we get back to Mrs. Shively? Yeah. Yes. Because well, no, what I, a fucked up time that was in my life. Well, okay, yeah. listen, you guys, I know nothing right. about Mrs. Shively. Right. So you guys, just, I mean, you're going to have to just fill me in. Give me the deeds. On, on a smaller example, I had one detention freshman year of high school. That was it. My whole life I had one detention. And then Mrs. Shively came. I, I think I probably had 10 that year. 
I got detention for missing a belt loop. She came around the lunch line and noticed I missed the belt loop, and she gave me detention. What? Dude, I, I, I would have transferred. I right had then. never had secondhand embarrassment or secondhand anxiety so much in my life <laughs> when Mrs. Shively came into Coach Sack's class to to watch him teach. <laughs> oh, no, that hurts. Bro. I th- I would have felt because we it. all have had Coach Zach. He kind of just chills. I never and, did, but oh well. In class, I, I'm I'm aware. Of yeah, in class he kind of just in class chilled. he was a gangster. Yeah, son. And he like, he like he didn't give a fuck. He was like, dude, listen, I, check this out. We're gonna take this test, and that was it. You know, dude, he was nervous. Like he was so nervous when she came in to watch him teach. It's like, and like she, it was just we're not a military school. That's what it felt yeah. like. Like he couldn't like. For instance, like Bubba said, frickin' you miss a belt loop and get detention. She would stare you up and down. Like, she would look at every person, and you would see her eyes, like, profile you. Like, if you had one mistake, you're fucked. And, like, dances. Oh, dances. Oh, my like, God. She was literally just staring everyone down, like, saying, make room for Jesus Christ and stuff. <laughs> We had timeouts. <laughs> like, I remember specifically people in my class uh, got put like in the penalty box. Like you had to go stand in the corner basically because you were getting too wild on the dance floor. Dog, hasn't she heard that there ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with a little bump I, and grind? I know. Dude, I, uh, Sometimes you got to let it out. You got to let the hormones yeah. gyrate, Mrs. Gotta, Shively. That's, turn pro- yeah. and that's let when nature you're take yeah. its course. Yeah, yes. exactly. That's when you're figuring it all out. You got to let kids figure it out. Dude, and right? that, dude, and that's the time of your life where you start smelling, too. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. sweat and shit. Dude. I, Developmental years. Dude, that's sure. so funny you say that. I don't remember what age I was. But I remember, like, I started to smell, like, I started to have B.O. in my armpits. And I was like, what the fuck? Then I, like, had to go get deodorant like but do you remember when you were young and like would run around play football at recess or whatever and then just go back inside yeah, like nothing yeah. happened like nothing and then you get to high school it's like god damn it's like we smell like shit yeah. like what dude, i, I fuck, do gym class i anymore. fucking walk down the street and i stink like what's going it's on it's like what's happening yeah i think it was probably around se- i'd probably say eighth grade where i started wearing deodorant because i was a late bloomer to begin with but Eighth grade, I think, I s- is when I started to wear deodorant. I, I really can't smell. remember, truthfully. I was early, like yeah. fifth or sixth, probably. Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. I also remember the first time, like, I started to get, like, long, freaking brown hairs on my nuts. <laughs> you remember those days? <laughs> and then and then you're looking in the mirror, you're like, I got three yeah, of them, dude, that's Dude, that's literally what it was like. That's crazy. Good times. Good times. But you were also Sorry. saying... Back to kind of what we were talking about, the COVID stuff, how, like, the standards just don't make sense. Like, everyone's at football games. Well, same with, like, famous people, like the Emmys and shit. I watched the Emmys the other night. It's just they're all in this pack, packed in this small room. It's like, we, okay, we're the only yeah. ones that have to abide by the rules. The rich, elite people, it doesn't yeah, matter. It's, it's, it's it just never made matter. sense. Yeah. And, and it's, again, is a small example. But, like, during all the height of it, um, I guess after going to Cheddar's, they had signs on all the seating inside. You know, when you're waiting on a table, they have like benches there. And it's like, you can't sit here, COVID protocol. But they have this huge bench outside that you could sit in. And it is January. So feel free to sit in the freezing snow, but you yeah. can't sit next to your family members inside. Dude, it's, it's, <laughs> it's one of, I mean, I'm pumped we're talking about it because, like, obviously we need. To get things off our chest here. It's yeah, get, just get them off your chest, <laughs> but dude. It's like, quit acting like you know what we're supposed to do for this. Nobody yeah. fucking knows. It's, yeah, you're right. So just like, let's just come out and say, hey, we don't really know <laughs> what's happening. I think happening. it's apparent by now that yeah. we don't fucking know. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. getting sick. We can't really figure it out. Vaccines are helping people. Yes, but people are still catching it and dying with vaccines. Not a lot. So, like, we just don't know. Nobody has any idea. Let's just, like, quit acting like we know what to do. Quit being so hard on people. Let's just fucking chill and just realize that nobody fucking knows. Yeah. And I Thank don't want to get too, like, into it, but, like, as the days go on, like, I truly, truly believe, like, that the simulation theory is real. 
Okay. <laughs> Dude, let we can dive into it if you want to, but we don't have like to. Little, like little like the li- little like stuff. And I mean just like the smallest things where you're like, how is that happening? Okay, so I'm I'll make an example. A, a lot of people aren't gonna know what I'm talking about, but Jake will, so it's okay. <laughs> so gum okay, uh Gumby's drive through, for instance, all right? There's nobody when I'm there, nobody's nobody's coming through. It's it's calm. Everything is fine. The second I go out into the drive through to hang some stuff up, I mean the second, sixteen cars come driving through. And I'm like I'm like, this is this is this can't be a coincidence. Like and it happens every single time. I'm like, somebody is fucking with me right now. I f- dude, like I- somebody is playing Sims on their PlayStation Two, fucking with me. I feel that way with everyday life too. Like for me example, too. when I'm getting pulling into the hotels or the Airbnb in the evening, I'm like, all right, dude, we're finally fucking here. Let's chill out. You know, t- take my time. Go to grab everything, and I always just find a way to just like fucking drop everything yeah. or things will become unzipped or like all of a sudden like the i can't reach my keys because i got too many things in this arm it 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 just makes you think it's it's like gonna happen yeah. so why even plan for it, it it's kind of funny i don't think you can relate because you guys work like by yourselves right yeah the, the vast majority of the time but like at when i worked at the bank it was so funny that when like people left and I was in charge, like shit would happen that they haven't seen in four years. Like it was always some obscure yeah, thing. That, yeah, and you're like, are you obviously, kidding me? Obviously, I have no fucking idea what to do. Yeah, and it would never happen when the managers was there. It was always when I was in charge. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking course. You're like, yeah, it's like those little things, and then they start to add up, and I'm like, there can't be that many coincidences <laughs> but, in life. But you're right. Like, why well, get mad about it? It's just like that's it's just like that's, oh, okay. That's well, the simulation of life. And just dude, that, that's what I'm learning. I'm slowly and it's I'm slowly and slowly just not giving a flying fuck yeah. about anything because it's it makes you all tense and stressed. Yeah. Just things are gonna happen. Just let it fucking happen. There's nothing you're gonna be able to do about it. It's either a good thing or a bad yeah, thing. Yeah, like just what? Roll. Like just just know, okay. You start your day and you leave your house and you're in your car and you hit that first red light, you're going to hit every single red light yeah. for the rest of the day. That's law. That is just the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Uh, you it know is. what I mean? And that'll be the same day that you drop all your shit. <laughs> that'll be the same day uh, you get a speeding ticket. It's just that is the laws of the universe. Yeah. At least they let you know early. Yeah. Usually. Yeah, we've caught on by now, but like, it's just... I don't know. Too many things, man. I'm like, I don't believe in coincidences anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like, this was this happened. This was meant to happen. This was to put me in check today. And God dude, God said, Hey, JT, you're getting a little cocky, pal. I'm gonna just fuck your whole day up today to humble you. You need some humility in your life. Dude, that happens. Too. I know. Like if, if if you think you're on if you think you're on some kind of heater or high horse, I promise you something'll happen to yeah. you where it'll put you very, very level. I, dude, I think what I've learned in my old, old age <laughs> is that the best place you can be always is just in the middle. Just hang, not, hanging in there. Not too good, not too, like, happy and excited. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know about that. But, but not too, like, worrying about anything. You just roll with the punches, and if you want to laugh and have a good laugh, you'll have a good laugh. But if you just don't, you just won't. I get. I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about that. One. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I I just I don't get too excited for things because then you get let down. That I mean, okay. Uh, yes, I I get. Yeah, I agree with that. In a nutshell, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. So that yeah. And there was like a crypto crash this week. Okay. So I was like, oh, this is great. Like this is a great time for me to buy some more stuff. So I was researching. I was trying to find some cheaper, good options. Okay. So I got this one. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll put some money into this. Days go by. Everything is in the green. Guess which one is in the red? The <laughs> one I put my fucking money in. I'm like, dude, this is impossible. This is impossible to happen. Someone's like, you know. Someone's I, fucking. With I know. You. I'm just like, okay, whatever, dude. I'm with you. But I'm holding the line. Well, dude, I, As I, you should. I was just reading, like, isn't. 
China now like trying to go after Bitcoin because they don't want it to be a thing. And I guess I'm just seeing all this from G Page's stuff. Shout out G. (laughs) Follow C. I learn a lot from his pages. I learned so much. So like basically they're saying now this is this is a opportunity for the US to take an advantage on things and like just go all in on crypto while they're trying not to and then hopefully we just fucking take the ranks back. Yeah. Take China down, the government. Let's go. Dude, all for it. I saw this guy on TikTok the other day. He's very, very out there. But he was saying it kind of goes with how some people believe like COVID was, which I don't believe this, but there are people like that, that people think COVID was just like, a, is like a control thing, like to control the masses. And this guy was saying like, and he named all these f- facts and shit. I don't like have the them. facts. Yeah. I don't have the facts, but I'm just kind of giving the gist of what he's talking about. He's like, there's no nuclear, there's not even any nuclear weapons like in the world. He's like, that's just a whole scare control tactic to like control other countries. And I'm like, dude, what if he's right? What if there are no nuclear bombs anywhere? I mean, yeah. And everyone just says, oh, well, we have them. That, that would be crazy. It could be, though. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there's evidence or not. I don't know. That's what I mean. I don't have any facts. Like, someone could shut me up real quick, like, that knows, but... And he was, like, making the, like, the... Using, like, the analogy that, like, people... You see just normal, average Joe people, like, faking it till you make it every single day. He's like, why don't you think, like, these large, powerful governments, you don't think they fake it until they make it, too? (laughs) And it's I, I've and always it, like and it's a, like whoa. I'm like resumes. It's like what do you just lie your ass? Yeah. Hey, seriously, people you, do it. Like yeah. prominent people it's, that end up make. See, I couldn't pull it off. Yeah, but I don't, I'm, I, I'm sure there's people that could. But you know, you hear the stories when somebody gets famous and anything. They're like, oh yeah, well, so and so they they wrote that they went to this school and in reality they didn't. Blah yeah. blah blah. And here they are. Because like I feel like especially if you're trying to work for like a large corporation that has so much shit going on at once. That they can't like call every single person's yeah. resume to check it's all true. You know what I mean? Right. I yeah. I I don't know. Like, I don't do know you the think? Answer. Do you think people like who the whatever the HR people reading resumes call these universities and say, hey, did this guy go here? Like, they don't have time for. They that. would for me, but the, everybody yeah. else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everybody else, yeah. they're good. Jake, you should just change your. Change your resume education to uh, Harvard. Yeah, just be like, I graduated <laughs> from an Ivy League school. Just say you were, you uh, road crew with the Winklevoss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't know my buddies, the Winklevoss, <laughs> <laughs> the Bitcoin boys. Uh, dude, but I just got screwed. They <laughs> all made all the money. I yeah. just got screwed. Exactly. Did you guys see this? They found footprints in New Mexico. Da- what's that say? Dating 23,000 years. Put. Wait, yeah, to the date. Wow, that's really cool. So it says fossilized footprints dating 23,000 years push back the known date. The continent was colonized by thousands of years. So, dude, humans have just been fucking around for thousands of years, bro. How, who's to say? Let, let's let's be real here. I thought Christopher Columbus discovered America <laughs> in the 1400s. <laughs> let's be real here, dude. Who's to say that at one point they didn't find this? They already found this electricity and stuff like this, and it they fucking that's blew cool theirself theory. up. Yeah, that's a cool theory. Or they're yeah. like, this is going to ruin civilization. And it did. And then yeah, exactly. the, or it wipes everything out, and then now... We got the aliens rolling in. They're like, hey, hombres, like, we've seen you guys do this So before. the aliens are speaking Spanish the, now. The aliens are <laughs> Spanish, dude. The aliens are gangsta cool Mexican dudes. And they're like, hey, hombres, like. Uh, that'd be cool. I'm going to say chances are not, but the theory <laughs> is really cool. I'm really into the theory. I mean, definitely, yeah. definitely, 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 chances are there's no shot. But it still doesn't explain pyramids to me. Yeah, dude, I was humans did not make pyramids. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. They're huge. Know. They're huge, bro. I was thinking the other day, like, kind of along the lines of what you're talking about, like how smart like humanity actually is. Like, I was driving in around in the car, like, and I was thinking, 
Humans are so smart. They took things from the earth and created just something we can drive around in. Yeah, you're right. It's just like, it's crazy to think about. It's weird logic now, but yeah. Like, freaking cavemen developed, our brains developed so much that we figured out how to fly in airplanes. Dude, just... Like, it's just crazy, like, how smart we actually are. Just think about a hundred years ago how the world was compared to it is now. Yeah. Tommy Shelby was out just slaying poon just 100 over, years ago. Just over a uh, dude. I think that was 100 six, years ago. Or they they just announced the new season in uh November. You watch Peaky Blinders, Bubba? I don't. You should I'm check it out. I think you would like it. Okay. that I need to finish. With what? That's fair. Uh okay, so I just started The Wire and I'm okay. really into it. And then on the back burner is uh Mad Men Okay, heard that was good as well. It's very good, and there's a third. And you can't slipping. Boardwalk Empire. Okay, I heard. Third. See, there's so many good top tier yeah. shows that I've heard that I haven't watched, like The Sopranos. You've have you watched that? It's so good. I Best haven't watched ever. that. Like, I, haven't I need watched to it watch either. it. I I, do, I heard I, Mad Men was awesome. I just mm-hmm. have such a hard time watching old shows when there's yeah. so much new yeah. stuff Dude, coming right. out. Bro, right. I really do. I'm with you on that. Like, yeah, like, oh, I like old school stuff, whatever. Like, people try to pull that old school card. But, like, new, especially, like, cinematic stuff, I'm all for the new stuff. I mean, it's Like, the even new visuals, like, acting is ten times better now than it was, like, a long time ago, in my opinion. Even with music and stuff. For, for, I'm in the zone now to where it's, like, there's so much new shit that you can consume. I'm not getting hung up on this, on these shows or songs anymore. So yeah, I'm kind of the opposite. Well, no, that's I, I, yeah. I mean, I appreciate that approach. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I, I just, I just keep rolling through because there's always going to be something new, and then you yeah. can go back no, if there's yeah. not. You know, right. I don't know. It's wild. I know. It's like, but I was, I was telling JT. So I'm really into the wire. And it's about, if you don't know, I think 90s, early 2000s, like Baltimore and pretty much the inner city, like drug smuggling, drug selling. It's true, right? I'm not positive. I mean, the, the, so the environment is true. I, I, I don't know if like characters yeah. are. I think they use, because Mello was talking about it on one of the pod. I think Mello was. Somebody was, and they've they use like names, I think. Oh, okay, which makes me want to watch it even more because that dude just passed away. So that's what I was going to yeah. talk about. So Michael K. Williams, his his uh, obituary or not obituary? Sorry, um, what is that called? What's that word? I, I'm lost. I'm losing the word. What is that word? I don't know. When they word, check the body, they, why autopsy. the body died. So the yeah. uh, the autopsy <laughs> yeah. analysis just came out today. And he died of an acute drug overdose of heroin, fentanyl, and cocaine. So this show is about selling heroin in Baltimore, and he was like a huge actor on it. So you wonder, like, did that have any like sort of effect yeah. on that? Which is nuts to think about. It is. It is like just being in that environment. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. No, no. I'm I'm with you. It's bone chilling when people die like that. But the fact that 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 set his whole career off and made him really famous, and he died of you know who he's portraying. It's like yeah. always Reminds the example that we use about Paul Walker. That's exactly dying in a car what I was going to say. No, yeah, it's exactly like the Paul Walker story. Yeah, it's yeah, the like, same thing. But dude, maybe though, like I have been hearing and seeing on social media and podcasts. I guess cocaine's really bad now um circulating in the united states and it it's all fentanyl stuff yeah. i guess there were four rogan was talking about there were four comedians at a party in la and they like did this bag of blow and all four of them overdosed and three of them died and only it's one survived and it seems like everyone you hear of it's always fentanyl and always it's such well, that's a small everything amount. yeah it takes pretty much nothing i know this is unpo- the unpopular opinion for older people and i get it but like that's the ex- that's the perfect example why you legalize it because people are going to do what they want to do anyways if you legalize it you can regulate it yeah. so people would never be getting with lace stuff lace stuff i i don't know if i would agree with the full scale legalization but at least like and, and again older people would like 
dog on this, but having like a clinic where you go to safely use. I'm with that too. Because I know there's testers, like you can test for like mobily for fentanyl and use, they'll have needles there that you can use, which. Th- there's some, there's countries that do that now and I'm blanking oh, on, but, but it's. But would it work here? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe not, but you would have to think it would help. I mean, yeah, so I, I see what you're saying. Like, certain areas where you gather to, if you're going to use it, at least make sure it's tested and doesn't have shit in it, and you go to that place to yeah. do it. But then you get into funds, too, and, you know, you'd have to have medical personnel there. So I, I don't know, but it's better than having everyone, you know, all these people dying. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is tough, because I think Portugal legalized everything years yeah. ago, and they're... They're like everything went down, but I mean we're it's it's wild over here. Would bro. that increase usage? I I don't think so. I, I mean, don't think so. I, I don't think I don't it know. would. I'm not peop- smart enough to know. But yeah, me neither. But I think people are already. But I would never do be it. like, oh, it's legal. I'm going to do heroin. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I yeah. would never do that. Fuck people no. that want to do heroin. Heroin are already doing heroin. So like, I don't think exactly they would legalize it, and everyone would be like, oh, yay, heroin. Like, let's go to the va- nearest vape shop and yeah, buy some heroin. Yeah, because Oregon just legalized yeah. everything. That's yeah. crazy. Everything. So we'll, we'll to we'll what see. degree though? Like, like you can just use like. You can't get, but you like still a, have to get it from an outside. But you can set illegal. up like heroin stores and stuff, what? like dude, that because is it's cr- legal. That's so that crazy. It, I don't know. We'll see how, it, dude. Over there is weird, bro. The West yeah, Coast is right. weird. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm good even, on the East Coast. I can't dude. even like. F- yeah. What would I you, you take to go to the bay? Yeah. yeah. What would you name a heroin shop? Like how how do you do that without looking weird? Like. You know how there's I, like see, it's such to- a foreign concept. It is. I, I like, just I can't ever you imagine. See like tobacco and vape signs. Like now they'll just be neon light up heroin signs. Nah, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'm gonna start a chain of stores called Yo I Got the H. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just spread them all over the all over the state. Well, like, Yo I got the H one. Yo I got the H two. Yeah, it would be popular. <laughs> For like you are my heroin. That would be my store. Boys like girls, shout out. See. That was a good song. They used to play that at Ogilvy Ski Lodge all the time. Yeah, but all right. Well, we could. Oh, yeah. So back to the whole wire thing. Well, how far are you? Uh, Season two. Okay. I'm, ha- I'm more than halfway through. I mean, I feel like everybody that I've talked to that's watched this show says it's incredible. Yeah. So yeah, it's very good. Um, the first season so far was a lot better. Uh, um, Because, like, I, I don't want to get into spoilers. No, but, it's all right. So, like, a lot of the people went in the jail. Like, they form a police unit, and they charge a lot of the people. So, in the second season, they're all imprisoned already. So, you have to do something else. So, so far, it's a little different. But Rolling Stone said, like, uh, whenever they did their top 100 shows, it was number two. Behind wow. only The Sopranos. No way. Dude, That's legit. A- is HBO. Crazy. That is crazy. HBO, yeah. they just figured out. They have the, they all d- of them. They, they have do. All. Did Game you see uh, George R. Martin just said that in the prequel uh, Game of Thrones series, there will be 17 dragons. Whoa. 17. That's exciting. And we'll know every single name. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Every single name. Like, just you, like their characters. Did you know <laughs> for a period... Still kind of, but not nearly as much during quarantine. I try to learn French, and I was on like the... That's pretty cool. Yeah. Duolingo? Yeah. So on Duolingo, you can learn Valerian. It's like a choice. Yeah. That's cool. So they put like all the whole language on it. Isn't that a steal? Probably. Valerian steal? Yeah. Well, that's that's that's, one of the... That's one of the... Yeah. I know. Well, I don't know if you... I don't know. (laughs) No, but I, I, I thought that was cool because everybody will know all 17 of them. Absolutely. Like, you mean, like, everyone will know, like, how we're all obsessed over characters, like, yeah. we're all obsessed over the dragons. Yeah. But, dude, yeah. HBO, bro, they they it's got crazy. so many shows, dude. Yeah. it like yeah like Since how? the early 90s. I mean, they've never slowed down. No. They're so good. Like, how did people just get... They just have a monopoly on and, freaking and through good shows. all like v- VHS cable, then like advanced cable, and now streaming. Like they've they've never toppled, dude. If if they get to a point where they get live television, I'm out YouTube. Yeah, because HBO like their back catalog is just incredible. 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> Incredible. So, like, right now, like, we talked about The Sopranos, The Wire, Boardwalk Empire. Entourage. 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 Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. It's all HBO. It is all HBO. Dude. Uh, what's the secession? True or Detective. Is? Yeah. True uh, Detective. True Detective. True Wait, Detective. Have you seen that? Uh, the uh, first season. The, I've only seen the first season. Uh, you don't need to watch anymore. Right, it's incredible. The first season of True Detective is inc- one of the one of the best shows. Big I've Little ever Lies. Seen. I don't know if you ever watched that. I've w- heard of it, dude. That show is fucking fire. Shout out Reese Witherspoon, girl. Dude, I'm, I'm telling girl. you, one of this the sleeper show that's coming for the throne of goat shows is freaking Yellowstone. It is. It's coming out very soon. Coming back rather. It's so good. Have you heard of that one? Yeah, I've seen two episodes. You don't like it. No, I do. Oh. I, I'm I'm a problem child with TV shows. Yeah, dude, not, I, I I'll mean, get there. I'll yeah. get there eventually. It it's already up there for me, dude. It's like my face. It's like my second favorite show. It's it's easily up there for me, dude. I it's uh it's it's a modern day Cowboys versus Indians. It's that, the best way to put that's it. That's exactly everyone I've talked is. to said it. I mean, they're super into it. It's so it. good, and like. I can't when it comes out. Did you okay? So the season four comes out in November, I think, and then the prequel show comes out in December. I didn't realize it was coming out that that soon. The prequel show. So they're gonna do them at the same time. Are so they, I'm guessing gonna continue the main with the prequel. See, that's what it was confusing to me because it's like how many episodes are going to be in season four Dude, that they're going to start. They must, they must, there must be like a, a Yellowstone episode in season four that yeah, flashes and, back to well, dude, the prequel show. And it's kind that's, of it's like gotta be. Uh, the Walking Dead, too. And you got to remember, that's a Paramount Plus thing. So even though it is connected to Yellowstone, I'm sure it'll be like its own type of thing, too. So, yeah, I mean, they got a fire cast. And I know Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, and Sam Sam Elliott. Elliott like that's unreal. I saw. I watch. I need to rewatch it because I was kind of zoning out. But I sat on more milk. But Star Wars came out with a freaking anime show, like a legit anime show. Did you watch it? I watched it, but I have to rewatch it. It's it was fifteen. I'm guessing they're all going to be fifteen minute episodes. I mean, it was fire. It was like. It looked like just old school, like anime. There was lightsaber battles and shit. It was intense, but yeah, I'm with uh, Doctor Bob. Shout out Wicked Good Gaming. I don't watch anime. Yeah, but doesn't he low key really love anime? But he doesn't watch anime. He's never watched anime in his life. I never have either. Which shout out Tiggy. Tiggy was on their episode yesterday, so head over there and support the boy. And it was funny. I was watching, and they did a jersey swap. So, like, Tiggy came in, had his Wicked Good Gaming shirt on, and then, like, five to ten minutes in, uh, Dom and Bob just put their long sleeve juice box shirts on. Really? Oh, and they're just cool. rocking them during the episode. That's it was sick. quite funny. That's sick. Quite, quite funny. You got anything else over there? I really don't. No, it's, it's a slow week, I feel like. It, what? Not a I, lot of action. Not, when I was trying to record my episode... For morning milk, I was like, nothing happened. Like, I don't have anything to talk about. Have you talked about the Gabby stuff? Oh, well, not missing, really, but or, well, get, in her, get yeah, into get it. Get into it. It's wild. Yeah. Where do you think he is? The laundry guy, whatever the fuck his stupid name is. He probably freaking fleed to a different country. Dude, I, we, we touched about it a little bit on TTP, not a lot. So from what I understand, dude, I was telling Ty and Jock, I was like, it's just all so weird because, yes, she's missing and she's dead, but I'm I'm more anxious to figure out what the other two have to do with that, the other two girls that were found. See, I, I'm not aware of the other two girls. So I guess there was two other girls that were found before her. In, that in the si- same area the or same that area. had a connection with her? In the same area. And, like, what? I don't know. And Yeah, and now he's hiding, right? He, nobody can find him. Yeah. Where, if, do you know, like, the whole story, like, from the start? Just not they, really. So, it, it just that they were a couple in their 20s, and they lived, like, at his parents' house. So, they kind of, like, up and said, we've always wanted to travel the country. So, they just, like, made this pact to travel to all, like, uh, national parks and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, 
So I, I obviously don't know the whole timeline, but she was FaceTiming her mom like three days a week or something like that. And so they have a plan to go from A, National Park, to B, National Park. And this is when they're stopped by a police officer because someone reported them for uh, like a domestic thing. Mm-hmm. Like they're fighting the car. And she there's like dash cam footage of her crying. And then um, from there, the FaceTime stop. And like her parents are receiving text messages still for like a week and a half or like two weeks. And they're assuming that it was him mm-hmm. like sending the text messages. And then out of nowhere, instead of he, the last text message was they're not going to uh, whatever park B. And they went to another park that geography or like in geography terms didn't make sense. OK. Yeah. So like that has to be the timeline where she was murdered. And then he just in this van that they were traveling the country with, he just drove home and we just living there. And, like, so the cops went to the door, and um, they asked to speak with him. And the mom, or one of the parents came to the door and said, we're not answering any questions. Here's our lawyer. Call him. What? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. With the parent? You said the, the parents the parent, did that? The parent. Whoa. Because they were obviously looking for him. And, and then it, because I think he was there at that point, and then he just disappeared, and they can't find him. That's very, and didn't she like, not she, wasn't there like a post on Insta? I saw, I don't know what time, during the timeline, but like she, her Instagram posted a picture of herself, but like her hair was not what her hair was at the time. Oh, really? So it's like he, I, maybe he posted it. Yeah, I don't know. I saw, I forget where I saw that. I, and then you have the whole, like, the internet basically found them because, like, found the van. Yeah. And that might have been what, like, spooked him to drive back home without her and just live. And then he, like, went camping. Like, he went on another trip. Like, this shit's going on. Your girlfriend is missing. And, like, there's a search. And then the police are questioning you while your parents are like, we're not going to answer any questions. And then he just gets in the van and leaves and just goes on some other trip. Whoa. Dude, because I told Ty and Jock, like, I'm happy they found her and it's awful she's dead. But I was telling them, I was like, dude, what if what if those, because she claimed to be a YouTuber, right? I see that. I'm not sure. She was, she was an aspiring YouTuber. So what if they, like, met these girls and something fucked up happened and went severely wrong and one of them died and then they, like, whacked the other and the... And they <laughs> they had it on tape. See, and the, I, I don't know. And I, the dude was like, oh, shit, I can't do this. And then he just whacked her. In poor taste, this will be a great uh, Netflix documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's so many questions that, you know, hopefully will be answered when they find him. But that that's, that's why the Internet's wild. It is. Because Eddie Moore, like, you can't go anywhere. Like, what is he going to do other than live in the woods until yeah. they eventually find him? I don't know. Dude. Again, the internet finds him. And so hopefully yeah. they find him. Hopefully they surround him and like SWAT team yeah. guns yeah, and like shit. I, someone posted like a video on TikTok like, hey, I found the van. Right, yeah. Like, that legit happened. And then that's that's crazy. But now the, the FBI just got involved and like put out a warrant for him. So hopefully. Good. People Fuck. are just straight up evil, bro. People it's are so weird. Evil. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Like especially you said he just decided he was going to go on another trip. It's like, what goes on through your brain? I feel like some people just don't have that thought process. Like, they just kind of do things. It was like, uh, there was another one that you and I watched. American Murder? Yeah. That was the craziest never... shit I've ever seen. Have you seen that one? No. If you ever it's in only the two for some kind of documentary like that, watch it. It's crazy. I mean, it's just so, it's so fucked up, and it's unbelievable what actually really happens, but it's just... It just goes to show that some people just don't care. No, not at all. And even, like, it's awful, but even if you're not trying to be caught, why would you just drive home and act like it didn't happen? Yeah. No, I know. That's weird. And it's sad, but if he would have reported and said, well, autopsy probably would have fucked him. But, I mean, who knows even what happened? But, you know, why? You're in a national park. Why would you just drive home? No. I mean, dude, it's... But see, what's wild is what panicked him so bad that he was like, 
I gotta go. Yeah. Like I wonder what actually happened. Right. I I don't know if we'll ever really figure that out. Well, the the dash or the people that were around were reporting that it was like a physical altercation between them two. So maybe he's just like a nut. Yeah. And the, like the argument escalated, and he just went crazy and went too far and killed her. I I don't I don't know. Obviously, I did ask could never risk hitting a girl because there's always that chance that she is a mixed martial artist and whips <laughs> your ass. So I could never even, I don't even want to enter that realm of going viral because a chick puts me in a fucking pretzel. Yeah. No Would thing. you be pumped? Have you, if have you seen the Entourage movie? Oh, of yeah. course. Is is that where Turtle gets in a fight yeah. with Ron, with Ron yeah. She kicks his ass. Yeah. Dude, she breaks his so arm. Great. Yeah. Dude, that's, we flew through that. Yeah. Entourage. Would you guys be okay with like dating like a, uh, like a Ronda Rousey, where you know she could literally just end your life with her hands in two seconds. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah, because how fun would I'm it a respectful be? Respectful guy. Yeah, I, no, I'll just, she wouldn't I, kill me. I think I'd be okay to with know. It. Like once every three or four months, you just get to go mm-hmm. fucking to prime time UFC fights. I'd be selfish. I'd be like, let's go. I'd be pumped as fuck. That wouldn't even be my favorite part. My favorite part would be like. If something goes south and I get in a fight with some dude and I can't handle him, my my girl would just come yeah, fucking that's, kick his that's ass. What I was gonna say it might be a little yeah. hit to the manliness. All right, babe. All right, yeah, hey, babe. I need help over <laughs> this here. This guy's talking <laughs> shit over here. He called me <laughs> you, a pussy. Hey, you listening <laughs> to this guy? You, are you gonna do something yet? Are you listening? <laughs> oh, oh, that is so great. Are you guys gonna be going to Ogilvy Fast next week? So I. I'm going to Zach Brown the same day. Oh, nice. And then uh, going back to Morgantown that night because it's homecoming that we've talked about the next day. So sadly, no. Dude, yeah. And I've I've literally said for the past like five years, I want to go to Ogilvy Fest. Me too. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to this weekend either. I know. It's a shame. Yeah, because I'm not going to go by myself. Because I, just... I haven't gone since maybe once when I was 21. I don't know if I've gone and been able to drink. I've never drank up there. Me neither, and I want to. And I've never I want to just go sit yeah, under a tent crazy. with some bales of hay next to me and drink Absolutely. some kind of pumpkin beer. Like I just want to do that, dude. Maybe I just want to put a flannel on one time, dude. That yeah, like <laughs> get me bar. a nice. Yeah. I, I feel you. Get me a nice big bag of uh, kettle corn from the Ogilvy Fest. Get yep. me a nice dark locally brewed beer. Sit under a tent with some cafe lights and some bales of hay around me. Like that's just what I want to do. It Facts. sounds like a good time. Me too. Me too. Well, I guess it's been a time, boys. Baba. I think it has been a time. This Always is your has. first full time episode. First full episode. So congrats. Thank as you. as a as a full timer, you ink that life deal. And you never you never can leave or we can sue you for <laughs> all your worth. Um but yeah, no. I and your first bo- blog was great. It Thank was you. great. Thank looking you. looking forward to reading more. Yeah. And uh, make sure to, okay, so the Juice Box Audio will still be coming out Sundays at 5. Every week, Mondays at 7. The full video will be out on our YouTube. Make sure to subscribe. The Juice Box Podcast. We are not the Diabetes Podcast. That's my line. Please don't ever use it again. Whatever, dude. Fuck off, bro. TTP comes out Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Hits and Picks video will come out Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. And the audios, the audios, the audio will come out Thursday morning, which is the next day. And then you can't forget Morning Milk on Fridays on Instagram and YouTube. Make sure to follow us everywhere and follow me at Jerry Nixon Jr. Thank you. Yeah, and you can follow me on, at uh, John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. That's John Theodore Nixon on Instagram. I'm on the Juice Box Podcast Twitter. That's at the Juice Box Pod. That's at the Juice Box Pod. I'm on TikTok at People Forget with two T's. You know, I'm just messing around with TikTok. I'm trying to figure it out. All right, I'm just trying to figure it out how to get freaking hundreds of thousands of views. I'll get there, but I haven't figured it out yet. Follow us on Fa oh, sorry, morning milk, 8 30 a.m. You already know. On Fridays, follow us on Facebook, the Juice Box Podcast. We are not the diabetes, the juice box podcast. And I don't have a saying yet, but my Twitter is at Bubba Slaughter. Because I was worried about having my full legal name on there. So it's at Bubba Slaughter now. There we go. Bubba Slaughter. Beautiful. Uh Juice Box R. That's Tiggy Nation, Juice Box R. That's Z A R. 
Z is in zebra, A is in apple, R as in Reebok. I screwed it up, but that's how we're going to end it. Bye-bye.